Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in this tutorial, we are going to be inspired by wedding florals and use um, color sampling technique and color blending Photoshop brushes to create some wreaths. And so in this tutorial, I actually, um, I was inspired by this photo of, I think it's Princess Beatrice. And I love the, as you know, I love the English flowers and I have a whole collection of um, color palettes and brushes inspired by them. And this is just a typical, uh, a really nice example of that. I love the kind of a, they have a kind of a monochromatic look, um, but I, I just think it's so beautiful. So we're going to get our inspiration from this. And we're actually going to use that to create some kind of abstract wreaths. And you can take these, tech, this, these brush layering techniques and use them. You don't have to make a wreath, actually. You can make like, you know, do the borders of your design or something like that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show we're going to make a wreath together. And here are a couple examples of ones that I made. And as you can see, they're very abstract. But what I love about them is this kind of luminosity and transparency that um, using this brush technique creates and I just think it's very ethereal and very um, subtle and romantic and I think that it would make um, that's my first one and then this is the second one I like that a little bit better and I think that would make a great technique for different um, wedding designs year-round and what's great is you can take images you can sample colors directly from images to create these kind of designs. So it makes it really fun and easy. So in this tutorial, um, I am using some brushes, wreath brushes. They're one through seven that I've just created and modified. And uh, these are available right now to my Patreon members. And also, um, I'm going to show you how I sampled the colors. So it kind of has a the ones that I turned off with, um, how it turned out, I had a different kind of color on the background, so it kind of has a different vibe than this, but I think it's really cool, cool and I'm going to show you my technique. So first of all, I've got my image here, and a lot of you guys are familiar with my color blending brushes using pattern step technique, and just whatever colors are in your pattern are going to be spit out your brush. So first of all, we're going to divide our, divide, um, define our patterns which is going to define the images that the, or the colors that our brush is going to use. So I'm just going to zoom into here and I am going to um, start sampling my colors. But one little tip that I might recommend for you guys is before you start doing that, you can go um, to your adjustments and if you don't see it, you can go to window adjustments and pop that up. I've got it over here. And you can go to like your saturation or your um, hues or whatever, but I, I click on this vibrance. And what I do on my image before is I might um, take the vibrance up a little bit and take the saturation up just a little bit because when you take a photograph, a lot of times it might kind of um, tone down those colors. So I might up the saturation here. You can go a little dramatic here, but... I might take it up and I don't care what their faces look like because I'm just sampling the colors. So you can like take the saturation up a little bit and get some of those nice rosy kind of um, pinks and kind of apricot peach colors that are in there. So I definitely recommend that. And another thing you can do is make sure that you have your layer selected. You can go to um, layer, what is it? Edit image, oh image. <laughs> adjust and go to shadows and highlights and sometimes I take my shadows um, the amount I take the number percentage up and basically what it does is it kind of takes out some of those shadows so that whenever I'm sampling I don't have those dark 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 colors you know maybe in the back so I put I can take this up and just kind of play with it but as you can see the higher you take this up on the shadows part the more it gets rid of shadows so sometimes I like to play around with that and um, take that up a little bit to get rid of some of those dark shadows but it's just really a personal preference but I'll click OK and then what I'm going to do is you can just flatten this image just go to here flatten image to put it all on one layer and then you get your selection tool marquee tool and I just go through here and normally I keep my selection area under like 250 and you select an area and you get you go to edit 
and you go to define pattern, although I have a keyboard shortcut. So I, d I click define pattern and then, you know, you don't have to, re honestly, it's always the time to rename it, but you can if you want. So I click OK and I'm just defining, I'm just uh, going over a couple areas of my image and getting some different color blends. And so whatever is in this area that I selected, all these colors are going to come out of my brush. So I'm going to hit Command M. Well, that's my shortcut. Uh, it's not by default. Or you um, click OK. You can go to Edit and then Define Pattern. And then for one of these, one of my blends, I want to get just kind of the leaves and stuff. So you can go down here and just select an area with the green. You know, I like, I, I like to have one that's just kind of greenery. So I have an area selected and I go to edit, define pattern, and I click OK. And let's deselect that. So now I have my different um, color palettes selected. And now we can go ahead to, um, to the document and we're going to create our wreaths. Okay, so I've got my new document up here, um, my demo file. And if you're on my Patreon, you can download this. And I'm going to start with, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to go over here. Make sure you have the pattern stamp tool selected. And make sure that impressionist is checked, but aligned is not. We're going to grab wreath brush number one, and then we're going to go to the color palettes that we had um, just defined, which are just parts of our image. And I'm going to grab one that was um, sampled just where I just sampled the leaves. And this brush is actually uh, pressure sensitive with the flow. So I'm going to be using a light pressure for a more subtle effect. And if you're using a mouse, you can just take the flow down um, up here because that mice doesn't have the pressure sensitive set settings. So I'm just going to do a little brushing like this and create a nice soft leaf shape. And as you can see, if I push down hard, I can have more dramatic leaves. But I want this soft buildup of leaves and it looks really nice. So it creates kind of the nice green base. And I might even grab, I just sampled some other leaves here. So I might kind of just layer them up here. So we want our kind of base to work with. That's cool. So now I'm going to create a new layer above that and I'm going to go to brush number two. And I'm going to grab one of the um, like the flower areas that I sampled. And as you can see, this brush goes, um, it's just kind of a floral brush uh, with some spacing. So I'm going to kind of just, just tap some little areas and create some kind of floral interests here. So, and if one comes out and you don't like it, it's like a dark spot, you can just, um, you know, there's no really right or right, wrong way, just kind of play around with it. So I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I just wanted to add some spots. Now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to get brush number three. And brush number three looks like this. And it's a nice one to layer over that because it's got kind of some sharper edges inside the pattern. And I'm going to grab like another one of my um, colors that I had sampled, one of my pa pa uh, patterns up here from the image. And just kind of play around and add some, some uh, spots here. And I like that this kind of has like this uh, little sharper edges sometimes. So we're going to go like this and just experiment. And it's just kind of all about building it up with layers. And now I'll make a new layer. And this um, brush stroke, I'm actually not going to change the color or anything because it doesn't really matter. This is just some kind of um, like subtle dotty with like transparency. But with this one, I want to add some gold accents. And I am going to grab one of my layer styles and I will include this in my download. I'm going to grab one of my 24 karat gold layer styles from my 24 karat gold collections. And it's up here in my styles. I already have it loaded. Um, I'll put the link to, below to my 24 karat gold style. So I just clicked on this to put the style on my layer. And then I'm going to just draw some kind of gold, like some strokes here. And this gives us really subtle and very cool, like little spots of gold. And I like that it's, 
it's got some transparency so it just all of this transparency adds to the kind of build up let me zoom in here and it adds to that um, kind of texture and depth and I think it looks really cool this is you know I've done wreaths before on demos but I like this one because it has like a sophistication with the buildup of all the layers and it looks like you like painted something or it took a lot of time but as you can see we're using the samples from the images and it really doesn't so it's all about saving us time so I've added my gold accents there and as you can see it's just with the transparency it's just very delicate and now I'm going to create a new layer and there's wreath number five and you can change the color palettes if you like, grab another one you've selected. And this is just kind of some, a little, like meant to be kind of an abstract flower, but I love this one because it's got this like fuzzy effect with those fuzzy edges. So I'm not gonna apply it everywhere, but I'm adding some fuzzy spots over the um, gold layer and I think it just adds like a lovely depth and you know alludes to some flowers but like not um, you know it's not like exact so it's very subtle you know not uh, realistic is what I'm saying but I think that looks really cool you can have more or less as you like but I'll put that on the top layer I think it looks really cool and then what do I have left okay Number, brush number six. Now this one, I'm actually going to add a layer below my base layer. And I'm gonna select one of the greens that I had selected before. And now on this one, it's pressure sensitive, but I'm still gonna take the flow up here at the top. Now, um, just remember I have the pattern stamp tool, one of the green areas that I've already selected. Um, and I've got, I'm gonna take the flow down at the top. And I just kinda wanna add some cool like accents here. And you can go like this or like that, but there's no real right or wrong way. I just thought this looks cool. And it doesn't always have to go in the direction like this. Like I even made some, let's see here, hold on. I'm going to take my brush size down a little bit and I'm just adding some kind of accents around and experimenting around my wreath. So it kind of looks a little bit like, um, I don't know, a little bit of greenery sticking out or something, but I'm just having a little bit of a play with that. And I'm pushing down kind of hard. Um, I want to take my brush size down, but push down hard. There we go. And yeah, just kind of add some little, little spiky things around it. I think it's kind of cool. Maybe I might take those out. You know, you can always undo them or play with them or whatever, but I just like to add that little bit, oops, add that little bit of effect. I'm gonna undo that. Hang on just a second while that catches up. We've got my slow processing computer right now. And then we have one more brush. Let me see which brush this one is because now I'm actually forgetting. I'm gonna create a new layer. Oh yeah, I like this one. So this is just a little bit of dots and I'm gonna grab like one of the flower layers that I had, or not flower layers, flower palettes that I had um, created. And I'm just gonna add some like spots around the edge here and just to have a little bit of you know what, I might add that on the top layer actually. Let me just undo that. I'm going to put another layer on the top and play around. And these are just kind of some, some dots, but I might put them around the edges. And just to add kind of like a, another cool effect. Yeah, just to kind of, and if you hold down, they're like, they can be closer together. But my computer is being really crazy these days. You have to excuse it. And just add a little like dot accents. But I think we've done a pretty good job here. I'm not gonna like get overly concerned on the details.
But as you can see, we have sampled colors directly from this image here of flowers and then use those to create this really nice layered complex looking wreath and really we just let Photoshop brushes do all the hard work and it looks like it was something that could have taken you ages to create but really it was quite easy. I think I'm going to take off that bottom layer for now. No, I like it. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it could take you ages, but it really didn't. So we're just, you know, harnessing the power of Photoshop and some applications that could be cool for this is like, if you have like maybe wedding invitations or something and they know what colors they want, or, you know, you have a picture of a bridal bouquet, you could actually sample images from, uh, sample the colors directly from those flower images to create your uh, wreath and use this for like invitation design or place card design or anything like that to match you know the thing or you can create um, any you know anything floral inspired greeting cards um, what have you but I think like wedding applications could be really great or if you have you know like like we did here you know we use the photos from the wedding and actually created artwork you know using those colors so it could be something really interesting so let me know if you have any questions about this technique and um, down below in the comments. And then, like I said, these tools are available um, to my Patreon members right now. The download includes the brushes, color palettes that I've created, and one of the gold layer styles. So happy creating with this and um, stay tuned for the next one.